Good morning, beautiful creatures. Thank you for coming back to another video. I, um, and if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> this is going to be advice from your higher self. So, of course, these videos are timeless. When it finds you, it's meant to find you. And just take what resonates. Don't let it take from you. Don't, don't try to force anything into your life if you don't get anything from this message. Maybe it's for a future reference or it's just not your message and you should try another video but I appreciate you either way wow so this deck really wants to talk but we're just going to take two cards and this is a sacred oracle oh these are beautiful so we have a card and I just dropped one on the floor of wolf spirit family some incredible incredible energy coming off that card and like family can be what we make of it as well, right? It doesn't need to be blood family in any way. We, we create our own family, online family, fur families, whatever that means to you. But uh, we're definitely, I think, leaning on some, I think we need support. Ooh, we have a card here of gratitude, the bluebell fairy. So maybe it's feeling grateful that we have people in our lives that are willing to be there for us and knowing that we can talk to them and they may not understand what we're going through but they'll they love us enough to stand with us while we go through it you know does that make sense so i don't know why i always pre-shuffle these cards so much when i'm talking i've always i like spend so much time shuffling the cards before i do the readings that i guess we're getting two cards here too um it's just silly that i do that but anyway we have the card into the unknown and compass Ooh, okay so what I'm getting from these cards here is perhaps you are feeling um, like you're walking into the unknown a little bit that you're lost or off your way um, but I feel like connecting with family connecting with those that you trust that you love and expressing your gratitude um, for them being there for for you is going to help you a lot and when in doubt when you're feeling like you don't have have someone in your your family connections that can do that for you um this this card was just sliding off off of the deck i think it really wanted to speak and it's the card of stillness reflecting cool so if you don't feel like you have that relationship within your family go within yourself and and find that um Find that stillness and those answers that you need. Express the gratitude to your higher self, to your inner child. Um, but all the answers you seek are within you. And when you go to people for advice, it's not because you want to listen to the advice, or at least it shouldn't be. It should be um, to get new perspectives to help you in your situation. Like you're not actually going to 311 on the clock. Um, so you're not actually, and so what? when I do that, um, let me let me say the 11s specifically. When I see 311 um, or like any of the 11s, 7, 11, 9, 11s, I, I think of the first number um, and what that means to me. And then 11 is like on the right track of or in the right direction of. So 311, when I said that on the clock, three to me is um, a card of, self-mastery, finding yourself, creating the stability um, to be a better human in all areas and aspects of your life, and you're on the direction, right direction of doing so. So, and we have the card of miracles that just fell out here. So things that you didn't think possible are, are truly there for you to, um, I, I, what's, like, relish in a way, where it's like, they're not too good to be too. You do deserve these things. Like, there's a way for you to have everything, and it may feel like maybe that's the end to the unknown. Maybe it's that's the garage. Maybe things are like going like, so well for you right now that you're like, this feels scary. Waiting for the other shoe to drop. You've never had that experience in your life. <laughs> that's funny. So we have adjustment. Looking back, moving moving forward. So again, like maybe it does feel too good to be true that you've never had these things in your life so you are looking back but remember we're always looking forward um i'm reading the power of now right now and it's such a good book at Eckhart Tolle. like it's incredibly famous i'm sure you've heard of it and if you haven't maybe this is the the inspiration you need to find that for yourself and and i feel like it's one of those books that like if you're not ready to read it it's going to sound super annoying to you but like 
when you're ready or you'll be ready when you're ready right so um but i do think it's incredibly empowering and it talks about like i'm not even finished it yet i'm just like literally a, a quarter of the way in but it's ex I, i'm really resonating with like the power of now and like how time is just kind of almost irrelevant in a way where all we have is now the past that we're so like we hold on to so tightly is just fragments of memories of past now so like sure they have existed but they no longer have any relevance to us anymore and then the future are all nows like nows being like present moment are all nows that haven't happened yet so like they don't really matter either right so um being present in the now just doing a little bit more each day whatever that means for you um and just making those adjustments, those small things, moving inch by inch into the unknown, and then just kind of being called to talk about how I feel about comfort zones. So I never ever want to ask or encourage to anyone to like shatter their comfort zones unless that's something that like you are comfortable doing. I always say like let's expand our comfort zones one inch at a time. Like if that's what it's only uncomfortable until it's comfortable, right? Like try something new. Like you don't know, like you'll hate it until you try it, but maybe you'll love it. And oh, sorry, we've got some cards here to start talking. Um, but per, yeah, but I feel like you're just going through some struggles here, and you're needing someone to talk them out with. And it's not again, it's not to like take their advice. You're wanting perspectives on direction. We're looking at the compass here into the unknown, and and do be grateful for for whatever it is that they tell you. But know that this is your these are your miracles, right? You need to make your own decisions. So we have the Five of Swords, the, oh, we're going to put them in this order, I guess. Ten of Swords, Six of Wands, and ending with the Magician. And this is really beautiful, honestly, because it does show that, like, there are a lot of stresses and worries and things that you're overcoming. But I do feel like you being successful moving out of this because you're manifesting a better life for yourself. And this Five of Swords, I feel like you have had to, like, this is a card of, like, winning and losing right and and like not in a way where it's like win 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 situation right like michael scott um this is like someone has to lose for the other to win but this card is so beautiful because it does look like a really cooperative and let me just focus on that a little bit better it looks like a really cooperative five of swords so i do feel like it's like maybe a, a dance that you've done a lot and it was harmless and caused you a little stress or was annoying or frustrating but it wasn't anything that like maybe like fun work banter where you like or like I know my siblings for for an example my um my youngest sibling and my middle one of my middle siblings like I have um I'm the oldest of four I have a younger sister and twin brothers and the youngest twin and my sister went to college together they took the same course at the same college to become vet techs and they would like compete for the the best grades and the best marks on like every course and and assignment that they had and like so it was funny and it was a productive thing right like they got they were able to get the best out of each other in that that silly sibling rivalry way so like it wasn't to at a loss to anyone but but you're tired of it right you want more for yourself or, or you're tired of of like maybe it means more to them than it does to you or vice versa maybe these things mean more to you than it does to them and you're tired of just whatever it is you're going through in your instance i'm just trying to put names to energy so please fit this into your life how it resonates but once you make the decision that you're you're done you're over it like she doesn't even look phased in this card by these 10 swords she's just like again she's she's bored she's over it she's making the decision to stop that's like acupuncture to her she's like thanks for the energy release but i'm done and you're moving on you're going to be successful because again you're manifesting something really beautiful and that's such a like a very like i don't know simplistic way to ex explain the magician card but like it's card number one we're starting at, like you know the fool is of course the beginning of the new journey but the magician is like very important on that journey as well this is the manifestation the manifestation of that new beginning and like i feel in this card this is something that you've been thinking about and wanting for a long time and like if you see here she's got like little hearts in her eyes like it's something you're gonna be really happy with you've, you're really focusing your energy here now and that's that's beautiful so i'm gonna look in the back of the deck so yeah, we have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. 
I just wanted to see if I wanted to take any more cards here. But um, I feel like your future self or your higher self is really saying, don't let it get to you. You're manifesting something really beautiful for, for your own. So don't let other people's opinions of it matter. Maybe just keep it to yourself. But know that this energy is here for you and it's time to take advantage of it. So if that's something that you've been worrying about lately or you're like, is it the right time? Is this something I should move forward with right now? Definitely. I say definitely do it. I think you're going to be um, extremely like happy with whatever comes out. So I've got a couple affirmators here. And again, rely on your family, your friends, your work family, maybe even like, again, I kept using, I kept going back and forth with family and work references, but maybe it's all about your work family. <laughs> maybe that's all in one, but um, definitely communicate with them. And again, not in a way where you want to take their advice verbatim, but we want to look at perspectives and, and, you know, because people give advice on what they think they would be best in their situation, but they're thinking from their circumstances and they don't know the whole story. So, um, we, we can just take it, um, how we, yeah, they, they want good things for us, but we make the decision at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. 11, 11 on the clock. I have the card here of worthiness. I am worthiness of the of worthy of ultimate happiness. I just, I'm not sure if you heard my phone ding, but that was spirit being like, hell yeah, you are. Um, I deserve and accept it. Damn it. I, and damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If he asks about it, I'll be like, um, no, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly. And I think that's a great idea. If anyone tries to like, yeah, just like, don't share. Just be like, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. I've got a lot of projects on the go. I don't even know where to begin. What are you been up to lately? Tell me about your life. And people love talking about themselves. So I doubt they're going to even notice that it happened. So <laughs> maybe that's your advice for you. But I have this beautiful self-realization oracle deck, emotional growth edition. And this beautiful card flew out for you. My feelings of sadness are both valid and important. When I acknowledge that I am yearning for a change in pace or environment, I give myself permission to identify the situations that may be fueling my impatience or dissatisfaction so I may be more gentle and compassionate with myself as I make the appropriate changes. So hopefully that helps you in whatever way that's meant to help you. So I think this one wants to speak, but we are going to get um, one more from the deck here. And these are just cute little um, curious messages. Oh, what does it say? Curious messages of enchantment from the forest fae. And one of the cards, oh, and the other one literally flew out of my hands. I've never actually had that happen like that before. That's funny. So this is the one that flew out of my hands just now. Spiny sister, take pride in yourself. So yeah, if this is a personal project or just like taking, maybe you're like going for something at work or like something and you're like, oh, I can't, or they're giving you a hard time or ragging you on about it. Like, no, take pride in yourself. Like if you want to take yourself seriously at this workplace and move up, like do that. And if that's not something they want, then that's their decision and you know, respect them for it. But don't let that hinder your like ability to do better and oh this is so beautiful the witch hair cross the threshold leap the hedge go over the wall so again i feel like this is just spirit and your guides and your, your higher self um encouraging you to take a leap of faith on yourself start that new beginning end the cycle with the ten of swords and when the magician that one card start a new cycle of believing in yourself you're knowing yourself worth appreciating and your your decisions that you make and the feelings that you have and where you want to be and go in life. So I love your guts and gross bits. Cheers to your success. I hope this works out in your favor. Love you. Bye.